All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to play Astroneer for the coming year of 2022. There are several ways you can play Astroneer. You can play in solo mode, in a venture game, or a creative game. You could also play in a co-op mode with your friends, or if you know of a dedicated server, you can jump on a dedicated server and play there with up to eight friends. If you've never played Astroneer before, I highly recommend looking at the Astropedia, which can be found underneath this little starship icon. Inside of the Astropedia, you'll have great information about Astroneer basics, whether it's basic controls, interactions, terrain tool, inventory, or damage, as well as information about the planets you'll discover and resources that can be found, whether it be natural resources, refined resources, atmospheric or composite resources. There are also some tutorials you can go through, which are just pages of information that will teach you how to do a specific item. Or you can just watch the rest of this video. When starting a solo game, you're gonna pick either adventure or creative mode. Creative mode, everything is unlocked for you and all you have to do is build and create. You don't even have to worry about oxygen or power or anything along those lines. It's just a free open play area in which you can have a good time and build. When you start a new game, your little space capsule will come up and launch you down onto the planet Silva. Each landing location is random, the planets are procedurally generated, so each experience of where you land on the planet and what you're next to will be different. When you arrive, you're told to exit the spaceship, and a couple things will unpack and you'll be ready to start playing. I happen to be playing during the December 2021 limited time event, so you can see some packages and some stuff on the ground that pertain to that. These items will normally not be here. It just depends on when you start a new game and if there happens to be a limited time event happening at that time. So now that you've landed, you're asking yourself, what should I do? That's a great question. Well, you can either go off, start exploring on your own, you're quickly going to notice that you're starting to run out of oxygen. And you can see that in your little oxygen bar. Since oxygen is required to travel on any planet inside of Astroneer, you're going to have to maintain your oxygen or you will start suffocating. And eventually you're going to die. Luckily, dying has very little consequences except for losing the items on your backpack but those can easily be regained by just going back to your body and interacting with your downed Astroneer. But what is the overall goal of Astroneer? Well, Astroneer is a sandbox game that allows you to just go and create and explore all on your own. There are mysteries to be solved, however, and the best way to discover those is just to get out there and explore. When you open up your research catalog, you'll notice that there are items to research inside of the research catalog and several of them are unlocked at the beginning of the game while a majority of the items are locked and cost research bytes to unlock these items range from tools to pieces of equipment that can help you out base building pieces that allow you to do specific things and even vehicles that will allow you to get from place to place on the planet and also from planet to planet Back in 2021, System Era added a mission system inside of Astroneer, and this will help guide you through the experience of Astroneer. There are some objectives that are already unlocked when you land that give you rewards that you can use right away. The mission system will also guide you to some of the greater mysteries inside of Astroneer, like exploring the Gateway Chamber. Also, inside of the mission log, you can find recipes that can only be unlocked after you complete specific missions. So you can kind of say your goal is to get out there and explore. Having an oxygenator in your hab will allow you to put down tethers and also stop you from dying. Just remember where your tethers are at so that you know how to get to oxygen. Like I said earlier, research items in the research catalog take bytes to unlock and you can find research samples either on the surface of the planet or in the caves and that when opening them up allows you to gain some sort of number of bytes. Research bytes can also be gained by completing missions with inside of the mission log. As you can see I'm going to get 500 bytes for completing this specific mission. 
Crafting items from inside of your research catalog can be done by either using a small printer, a medium printer, or a large printer. And by looking at the research catalog, they're denoted with these specific little icons. The first one is for your backpack, small printer, medium printer, and for the large printer. Creating items out of the printer takes resources, and resources can be found on either the surface or the cave, and are collected by using your terrain tool. The items are gathered and placed into your backpack, and they are ready to use on any printer, either directly from your backpack or from storage that's attached to a storage device and or platform. Several small items usually created from your backpack can be placed on the ground directly and used immediately. Other items, like things that are printed from the various size printers, small, medium, or large, need to be unpacked and placed onto a platform in order for you to use them. Also, you're going to need power. Power is provided by your HAB, and it gives you one unit per second of power. But that's not nearly enough, and you'll be required to find and build power systems in order to be able to power items on your bases. Luckily, inside of the research catalog and looking at the specific item you want to build, it tells you how much power is needed. The chemistry lab, for example, requires 10 units of power per second while it's active. And you can also see what is required to make the chemistry lab not only number of bytes, but also resources. Not all resources are found on Silva. That's why the Astropedia is so important. Make sure you go to the Astropedia and look at the planets and it will tell you the notable resources for each planet. Like this particular planet, Silva has Sphalerite in the caves and Malachite in the mountains. Whereas DeSolo has Wolfermite in the caves and Sphalerite in the mountains. Wolfermite, when processed, turns into tungsten, which can be used inside of items like the chemistry lab. Again, following the mission system will also help guide you through this beginning process of not only gathering resources, but actually building things to get off the planet. While you're out exploring, either on the surface or in the caves, there's a possibility of getting lost. System Era added in a compass so you can easily find your way back home. Your home is denoted with this little home icon, and there's also special event icons that happen if you happen to be in a limited time event. These little blue ones indicate this little special debris that drops these gifts for the winter limited time event. There are also other icons on the compass that denote points of interest. This purple one off in the distance looks a little interesting. While you're out exploring, you can find downed crafts or downed vehicles that might have items useful to you so be sure to check them out because sometimes they contain power systems and or oxygen filters, normal and refined resources that can help you progress in the game. I happen to be following the compass to this purple item and you can see that there's something interesting off in the distance. This is a gateway and uh, you need to figure out how to solve this little mystery. It's not that hard, but it's pretty interesting. Learning how to play Astroneer is very simple. The controls are intuitive. The interface is very easy. Going through items in the research catalog and or the printers is very simple by going back and forth on these button controls. But if you ever happen to get lost, just remember that the Astropedia is there to help and walk you through some of the basic controls inside of Astroneer. Be sure you read the items inside of your research catalog so you can see actually what you can build and what might be really helpful to you. Pay specific attention to the medium printer because here is where a majority of your base building pieces are going to come into play. Like the smelting furnace which converts natural resources into refined resources. The soil centrifuge which takes soil and reproduces natural resources from soil. And other base building items. Solutions for power systems can also be found inside of the research catalog. You just need to look for them, but they are located not only in your backpack icon, but also in the small printer, as well as the medium printer. 
Astroneers is a sandbox game of exploration, so get out there and explore. Get those research bites, unlock items in your research catalog to help you get off the planet and check out the rest of the solar system. Or you can easily follow the mission log and the mission log will help guide you through the experience of Astroneer. I will have further guides that follow more items in depth, like getting research bites, the best way to get research bites. What items you should build first in the research catalog. How to use your terrain tool, the power system, so on and so forth. I've done these guides in the past for Astroneer, but so much has changed, so I'm updating them for the future. But that's it for this one, and I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to play Astroneer. I don't want to give too much away in this guide, so if you want more in-depth information, be sure to look for the other guides. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.